We've had an awesome day today with Mana Manawahau and I picked them up 9.30 this morning and we've finished and it's 5.30 in the afternoon. A great day. First thing this morning we went to Mangamonu Marae um, and showed them the whare and an old Catholic church and the peaceful surroundings. From, from Mangamonu we went north to Waipapa Bay and there was an old pa where the camping ground is today and we talked about the history of that pa, the relationship between Māmoi and Ngāti Kuri but in particular at that pa we drank water from, from a special spring called Hau Makariri and that spring has fresh, clear, beautiful water. And it's what, that spring is what brought Ngāti Kūti down to this area. And so we were able to sample that today. From there, we went to Pekita. Pekita Pa is sacred, it's a sacred pa because of the people that lived there. And it's a long history there at that pa considered impregnable but the special thing about Pekita it was the biggest pa in the South Island housing up to and over 800 people it was huge so we talked the stories about that pa and we looked at where it was from there we left and we went to Pia Point Pia Point south of Kaikoura where we caught in the kelp bag. We broke into three groups. One group was on fire. Their job was to, to heat the rocks, to gather the firewood, to get the rocks hot, hot, to put our bags on. And the bags are meaning other bull kelp. The, the second group was on kelp bags, or poha. The poha is what we used to preserve our food in, but we also cooked in the poha and they, a special kind of um, kelp is, was gathered and they, they, it was a spongy kelp where we made, bag, made bags out of them. The, the third group, their job was to get the seafood and so they went hunting for cockles but what was fortuitous is we come across a couple of divers who had excess power and so they gave us the power and I showed a couple of guys how to clean the power using the thumb <laughs> and they struggled at times but we pounded the power we put them in the kelp as we did the cockles we laid the bags on top of the hot rocks we covered other kelp over top and quickly we all piled the sand over top of the kelp, the rocks, the fire, the whole lot and, and made sure no heat escaped from there. From there we waited 20-25 minutes and then slowly we unearthed the sand away from the kelp and the kelp was steaming hot and we pulled the covers off and we got the kelp bags that had the food and we carried them up to the top, put them on this, on this container and we slit them open and there was the power, cooked to perfection. <laughs> um, the cockles were open just enough to allow us to keep the juices still in the cockles and that's the key with cooking in the kelp is it keeps all the juices and, and, and the flavour inside so you don't lose it and so we did that at Pyre Point uh, for some students it was the first time for some students you know I heard one comment is that a power and and that blew me away you know and so it was good for them to get into the ocean and to hunt her together as we once used to um, so they were following in the footsteps of, of their ancestors